Welcome to Colorado's Lost Creek Wilderness. This is my first backpacking trip of the season, so I wanted to share it with you guys. Spectacular place. This is a really great backpacking trip to do early in the season because unlike other places in Colorado where that there's still snow in the high elevations. This is a bit higher elevation. We started at above 10,000 feet, yet we've only seen some very tiny patches of snow. Nothing we've had to hike through. Oh, and anyway, hi guys, I'm Audrey, known as Glow Stick on Trail if you don't know me. In 2018, I quit my amazing job in Washington, DC to through hike the Appalachian Trail from Georgia and Maine. And now I live in beautiful Colorado. So I just wanted to share this backpacking trip with you. If you're looking to do something in May or June in Colorado, this is a really great option. So here we go, let's get into the hike. The Lost Creek Wilderness is in the Pike National Forest, nearish to Bailey, Colorado. According to the Forest Service, the wilderness was named for a creek in the same area. The creek, known as Lost Creek, repeatedly disappears underground and then reappears further on above ground. So it's an apt name. My friends Valk, Pika, and I went out for the weekend to do the Lost Creek Wilderness Loop. This loop is about 28 miles long and starts at the Lost Park Campground. We drove up Friday night and stayed at the campground, which is $15 per night and first come, first serve. So if you decide you want to stay there the night before, just make sure that you have cash on hand. There's a self-pay station right at the campground. Because we stayed here the night before, we were able to get an early start on trail, which was awesome. Once you get on trail, you just have to fill out a self-permit at one of the stations. And it is required that your group leader take this with them. There are a couple of different hikes that begin from this campground, so just make sure you're on the right trail as you're starting your hike. In this case, it's the Lost Creek Trail. According to all trails, the elevation gain for this hike is about 5,300 feet. If you go the way that we did the first day, the trail will take you up over Bison Peak, although technically you don't go to the very top of it. It's a steep climb, but very, very, very much worth the views and the incredible rock formations that you'll see once you get to the top. You'll get to hike at high elevation and see all of these really neat red rocks for a few miles before you start descending again. This part of the trail really reminded me of Utah. Once you get through this part, you'll start a steep descent and then you'll get down near a river. And along this river for a few miles, you'll see a bunch of different campsites that you could choose to set up in. A lot of this trail goes through forests, but there are a lot of exposed areas as well. So make sure you bring your sunscreen. If you go over Bison Peak the first day and say you do about half the trail that day, then the second day you'll actually have more elevation gain. But I found the second day to be easier despite that because it's not as steep. And in doing it that direction, the last few miles of your hike are going to be pretty gentle trail through a valley. And it looks very much like moose habitat. So I haven't seen a moose in this area. Well, I did see a dead moose in this area, actually. But I haven't seen a live moose in this area. But I wouldn't be surprised if they're about because I was seeing droppings. I did see the dead moose. And it just looks like moose habitat. This is the second time that I've done this loop. The first time I did it was late May of 2020. And then this year I did the hike in mid June and both honestly were great times to do the hike. We didn't really hit snow either time aside from, from small patches, but this time in mid June was especially beautiful because there were so many wildflowers out and about. The entire wilderness felt very, very alive. I had a great time though, both in May and June. So I don't, I think both times are great times to go. If you visit this loop, I would love to know about your experience. Make sure you like this video if you found value in it, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more hiking and backpacking content. Thank you!